Hello YouTubers, Custom Comments here with another review of the McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, The Batman Who Laughs. This is the second edition, in which I already know I like better than the first one. The open mouth, he looks a lot bigger too. And of course he's part of a builder figure. And it shows he has the head, shoulder pads, and a sword. Looking good side of the box DC Multiverse the Batman who laughs the back of the back the box it shows the calling card looking awesome and it says the Batman who laughs with sky tyrant wings so he does have big ass wings as you see in the calling card and as, of course you can see what he has in package with him so we'll we're gonna be building this merciless very soon and as you see the other figures in the line, Batman Who Laughs, the Batman and Superman Infected. Okay. And as you see, well, Dark Knight's Metal, the Batman Who Laughs with Sky Tyrant Wings. Okay, and that's the package. So let's get the Batman Who Laughs with the Tyrant Wings out and see how he looks. And let's look at the details of this Batman who laughs and oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this mug is banging, just banging man, look at the details, my gosh man, this is so dope. This is so dope i love the wings this thing is just it's just artwork it's just artwork i like it so much better than the first one wow the aesthetics is just it's just awesome man awesome look at this may be the surprise best figure in the way to me and I would have never said that when I first saw him come out because I was so stoked on the Superman and them and them Robins but wow Batman who laughs man and I do got mine on the DC stand the base they came with the Superman I think that looks better than the black base where you, it don't show as uh, show up as much so I used the clear DC stand it came with his first Superman I Cause he, like I said, it's hard for him to stand without uh, any base. I mean, you can stand him, but he's leaning forward a lot. So I just used the clear base. See, so, uh, and the good thing about this one, like I said before earlier, no. Uh, clicky joints in the feet. They just smooth. Like, see that? And we will get to more about that when the articula we get to the articulation session. But yes, man, the aesthetics. Wow, man, look at all that detail. All that detail. Yeah, this might be my favorite figure in the wave. It's just a gorgeous piece. Yeah, so um, let's go over his accessories, which are the wings. Okay. Let me stick stand him on his base, the DC base, clear base. Okay. And a calling card, which looks awesome. If you can see that. And a read up, which if you want to read that. Pause it and read it. Okay, 
So yes, now let's go over some articulation. Okay. The head can look up that much. Look down that much. Not too much down because his mouth is open, the chin is hitting his chest, but more up than down. He most definitely has tilt or expression. Okay. The arms can go this far up, which is good. Okay, he has a bicep swivel, double joint elbows. He has a hinge wrist. And you also swivel that. He has a lower waist. That can make him go back that much. He can go. He can't really bend forward. Okay, but more back. Okay, no side to side. This is all one piece, so it hinders his midsection. Okay, the legs. Can go out that much. Okay, no thigh swivel. They can go up that much. Double joint knees. Being good. Okay, he has a hinge foot with no clicking joints. Just smooth. I don't understand why he did it to this one. In the first Batman who last figure, he had the clicking joints. And he does have ankle rocker. But you sort of have to twist it up funny way, but he has it. And a toe hinge. Okay. So, yes, this, I love this uh, version of uh, Batman who laughs. Sick man. I do love this one. Most definitely better than the other one. Okay. So I think I went over all the articulation points. And he also has that that circular motion up under his uh piece right here. So good real good articulation, man. Great articulation. The wings can articulate. They're on a ball hinge. You can close them in like that, spread them out like that. They're on a, 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 a hinge or a peg up here. I'm sorry about that. A peg. Okay. <laughs> Losing my speech. And they're, they're sort of tight, but they work good. You can also swivel the wings. So they're fully articulated. But wow, man. This thing is just gorgeous, man. So nice, man. Man. So that's it. Oh, my God. I love it. Yeah, so this Batman who laughs is, I like it a lot, a lot. So let's stand him on his base. I will be using this base since it's clear. Yeah, Cause them wings are heavy. They are heavy. Okay. So yeah, that man who laughs is pretty cool, man. Awesome figure, awesome figure. Let's get this spread it out. We look even. Okay. So yeah. So let's get a height measurement from the Batman who laughs. And he's standing about seven inches tall from the top of his head but the point his tips maybe seven and a half if you go by these seven by the head okay 
let's get ready for some size comparisons and here he is with the first version Batman who laughs and guess what the first version got clicks ain't that a bitch it clicks so I don't understand why McFarlane does that but yeah and they are he does look a hair taller as you can see I believe he's a hair taller which he is okay and here he is with the devastator as you can see devastator is much bigger a little taller a lot of people wanted him to be taller but he's most definitely big okay <clears throat> and we're gonna do this right quick I had a YouTuber watch my video of Merciless yesterday and stepping back right here he wanted to see a comparison of the Devastator and Merciless so we'll put that to right there right quick and as you can see Merciless is <laughs> a lot taller than Devastator okay so that's the comparison of those two so I hope that helps you out and we'll get back to the Batman who laughs and as you see merciless towers over Batman who laughs we will stick the infected Superman in here <clears throat> and Batman who laughs is most definitely a little bit taller than Superman okay and here he is with the Joker Rebirth and Robin Earth 22 which is his slave as you can see I think him and Joker are standing side by side and he's much taller than the Robin okay here he is with 1000 Toys Blame Killy and the Mafex Wonder Woman he's most definitely most tall much taller than both of those okay and here he is with Marvel Legends MCU Venom and Marvel Legends MCU Deadpool Venom is a little taller and he, uh, Batman Who Laughs is most definitely taller than Deadpool okay and here he is with a couple of NECA figures the NECA Fugitive Cable, I mean, Cable again, Fugitive Predator, and the NECA Casey Jones. And you can see the Predator is towering over Batman Who Laughs. Him and Casey Jones are standing side by side. <laughs> okay. And we'll do a Marvel Legends Grey Hulk, Anniversary Hulk, which is way bigger, and the She Hulk, which they're all standing same height as you can see awesome and here he is with the McFarlane Nightwing and a SH Figart Sagat and he is taller than Sagat and him and Nightwing about same height okay so yes, my final thoughts on this guy, he, he might be my favorite one out of the whole wave. He's that good, man. I like him a lot, and I do got him on the base. If I have to put him in a dynamic pose, which he's most definitely don't be in a dynamic pose, I can use too if I want to spread the legs farther. So yeah, very nice figure, man. So that will be the conclusion of the Batman Who Laughs with the Sky Tyrant Wings. Awesome piece. Okay. So if you got any questions or requests, make sure you hit me up in the comments. Hit me up on Instagram. And I'll be sure to get back with you. All right, everyone. This is Custom Comments signing out. Take care. God bless. Peace.